One of the key features of any given project, be it Android or be it a general enterprise project, for instance, is the use of modules. So what are modules? So modules are reusable components. So for example, say I have an Android app um, which displays dates, okay? Like today date, yesterday, day after, and allows the user to you know choose a particular date or enter a date stuff like that like playing around dates so there will be numerous apps like this which will reuse the same functionality you know like when the user enters a date or selects a date then format the date and you know show it or save it in the database so what can be done is we can encapsulate this functionality like date formatting in a utility and keep it you know like make it reusable so that various projects can reuse it similarly you can have other kind of modules like um, like for example the reusable components which can be related to random number generation or some other kind of algorithm so in most of the projects that you will create you will come across certain reusable components and you might as well keep them handy for future users like you you can come across a cool library that you have found and you know that library can be reused so in case of android if you want to create a new java module or if you want to create a new android module then it's pretty easy and the benefit is that it can be reused across various components okay so gradle which is the build system um, deployed or used by android uh, makes it very easy to create new components, build it, package it, you know, and create a jar file for instance and that jar file can be used. You can just copy the jar file in another project and use it or specify it as a, as a dependency. So let me show you a very simple example um, on how you can create a simple Java module and in the next video I'll talk about Android module. Okay. So for example, I created an app, okay, and this is like a simple joke telling app uh, in which when the app launches, then you'll see a simple message that, okay, uh, this is the joke for today or something like that. And where the joke is coming from is from a component, is from a library or a module, okay. So I created a very simple project here, uh, which I call like Chutkule, it's a Hindi word for joke. Okay, so I created this app Chutkule and in that if I want to create, which I did um, a while back, if I want to create a Java module, then you simply go here and you click on new module. Okay, and then from here, what you can do is you'll see the option of Java library. Okay, select this and whatever you want to call it, for example, my Java library component module whatever you want and then um, you know find jokes is the name of the class from which where I'll write the logic and leave this option and click on finish so what it will do is behind the scene the studio does uh, some very cool things which you can do manually also but it's good if you are using studio then it saves you time so it does create the module that you have specified it creates the class file and then what happens is something really cool happens because it won't just work out of the box so let me show you so this uh, this module gets created and this class gets created so you can add some method here to display you know to return the data and stuff so what i did is i created another joke utility in which i created a class and i just had this public method get joke and i have a message which can be printed so once this utility is created then you go to the app okay and what you will find here is not really the app but in the gradle scripts go to the build gradle file okay and here you will see this dependency has been added by android if not then you need to you, you need to basically specify which dependency your app needs to use so if i want to use the new dependency then i need to specify it here and the new one is called my um, you know it can be java library 
okay so this is the dependency and this simply tells android that in future we'll be using this dependency in our app code and one more small change is in settings gradle so in settings gradle life uh, i mean android automatically adds this uh, this new module so that your app can use it and uh, the other uh, other important thing to keep in mind and i'm pretty sure you'll f you'll face this problem is in the gradle build gradle file for the for the module you have created uh, actually it doesn't work with java version 1.8 so you need to use 1.7 and to do that if you see i've added this simple line source compatibility 1.7 so add this add this compatibility thing here and that is what you need and next in your app code you can simply refer to the uh, to the class you have created like the jokes class i created and you know get joke method i call here so this is the way the java module can be created and as you can see this is kind of independent from the project so you can reuse it at other in other projects basically um, so i hope you get an idea about how the java modules can be created what is the concept of modules go ahead try it out in the next video i'll try to show you how to create an android module okay take care